Hey, what's up guys? Steven the Salon Guy here, and I've gotten a few requests that I should kind of bring it back to my old school videos and how I shared my instructions and my techniques and was a little more in depth and a little more technical. So, because of your requests, I'm going to fulfill them and I'm going to throw it back to uh, a tutorial style of how I explain everything really, really thoroughly, use a little more professional terminology, and uh, I'm ready to go. So let's get started. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this and make this over. Now some of you might get intimidated because we are going to go short, and some of you might look at this and go, oh my gosh, it's so short already, what do I do? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you guys feel confident in transforming a look like this and taking a shorter kind of almost pixie shape uh, in, from this existing haircut, which is a very nice haircut. She's got the bangs. But what you need to do is when you're starting off looking at making somebody over or doing something new is seeing the overall picture. You know, what could be the focal point? So obviously this is already short. So you have to create something that's going to be probably a little bit shorter than this to kind of work this in. Uh, maybe a little bit slightly longer, but something needs to kind of work into this to frame this a little bit and add a lot more texture to the whole thing so that this becomes more of the focal point of the whole thing. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this head uh, wet down and we're going to start with the haircut. All right, so I'm going to start right here in the bottom. And as you can see, here we have the bottom length and through here. I don't want to bring this up too, too much shorter because I want to have a little bit of room to be able to have some movement to it. So I'm just going to basically cut this probably about a half an inch or so up from what it originally is, okay? Just like that, I cut it just straight across. And the reason, like I said, is I wanna be able to have a little bit of hair to kind of work with. If I wanna see some flips or anything throughout the uh, the back, uh, this is gonna be helpful. And it'll also allow me to keep kind of a more textured, messy look. Uh, if it's too, too short, then we're kind of going into a whole different look. All right, so as you can see what I'm doing, I'm not using any clips. I'm just literally brushing the hair away and letting it just kind of lay there on the, uh, on the head. So I'm gonna just do one more section like this, cutting it straight across and uh, basically establishing my guideline. All right, I'm just gonna turn the head a little bit more this way. And I'm just establishing my guideline because I wanna start off and build that foundation. When you, when you cut the guide first and your base, that really gives you a good, clear vision of what your base and your outline shape is gonna be, which I think is very, very essential in not only short hair cutting, but also long hair cutting, okay? So now I'm working my way up, as you can see, and I'm combing this hair out of the way and giving myself uh, an open section right into the back. And if you want, if you use the fine teeth of the comb, you can see it just kind of locks the hair in a little bit tighter and uh, you can just brush it right out of the way, all right? So now we have the ability and the opportunity to work right through the center and work our way up layering, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna come right down the middle, just like this. I'm gonna comb the hair straight out from the head like that, all right? Lock it in nice and tight. There's my bottom section right there, there's the length. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut right on top of it like that. And I'm gonna cut it so that it's straight out from the head. Uh, many people refer to that as 90 degrees which basically means it's straight out from the head. Uh, my thing is just, hey, look, you know, pull it straight out from the head, and, you know, it, the degrees, is it 91 degrees? Is it 89 degrees? You know, it, it really, as long as, as long as you're pulling it straight out like this, you're going to be in good shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this pattern all the way throughout the back part of the head, the middle part, and working towards the top back of the head. And... What that's going to do is that's going to keep everything consistent and it's going to keep everything uh, balanced. Now, right in through here in this corner, what I'm doing is I'm going to hold it straight out the same way. But now I'm cutting it straight uh, up like this and I'm just holding it out a little bit this way because I want to create a shape rounding it out around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now continue to go on the other side like this. And now I'm changing hand positioning. And as, as you can see, I'm cutting upwards now. All right, and cutting upwards now means, uh, you know, we're just following the same pattern, but we're cutting palm to palm. And that means that we're basically going to get a nice angle uh, that allows us to get as close as we want to the scalp, but also keeps things nice and tight and very consistent. So I'm just going to finish this back section here as we work into the corner. And we will be finished with 
actually what is going to be the base of the whole haircut because this essentially is going to be the whole shape throughout the whole back of the head. All right. Now what I want to do in through here is I want to come down like this. As you can see, the head is down still. Push this out of the way. Make sure you have enough room here. And now I want to come in this way and cross check this, but also uh, come over and create the shape going this way. Look, it did on the other side. All right. But now what's, what this is going to do, it's going to allow us to make sure everything is nice and balanced and even. All right. Because when you cut the hair and you cross check it the opposite way of how you cut it, then you'll start to see the real deal. You'll start to see if things are really off balance, if they're out of shape, if they need to be cut more. And then I also like to kind of mesh that in with cutting horizontally and cross checking horizontally as well. All right, so I'm just gonna continue to bring this. Now I'm combing it straight out like this, but I'm slightly elevating it because that is going to allow uh, for, for better uh, cross checking pattern, okay? When you hold it straight out, you get to see if everything, how even everything is. All right, now as you can see here in the corner, I need to take this down a little bit shorter through here, and that will really, really be key for this whole haircut. So now when I go like this, everything is exactly where I need to be and how I want it. Now, uh, I'm going to continue to work up the back of the head like this, going section by section and panel by panel, and we're working our way up, and we're just keeping uh, neat and organized into here. So what we're gonna do is follow the same exact pattern now we're coming up above that section we just cut. We're still cutting palm to palm. There's the guide underneath there. And now we're cutting like that. All right. Gonna follow this all the way in through the corner. The same exact technique we did uh, underneath it. And again, this is gonna help us keep consistent. It's gonna help us uh, keep the length nice and even and also uh, keep the shape well balanced. So what we're going to do is I'm going to finish this up on this side and through here. I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side and then we'll be ready to work in through to the next panel. All right. So now we're coming to the cross checking phase again in through the last area that we just cut and I'm doing the same exact thing, holding it straight out like this and making sure everything is well balanced, which basically means uh, visually everything is going to look perfect. All right. Now we're going to work towards the top back of the head now. Now we're at the occipital bone area in the back of the head. And here's where we're gonna change our body position. So before we're coming palm to palm this way, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch body position. I'm gonna take a section right down the middle and now I'm going to cut upwards, okay? Which is gonna allow me to start rounding out the head shape and keeping a nice pattern as well. All right, so here we go. I'm cutting, again, straight out from the head, and I'm gonna push this away. And here I'm taking my next section. There's my guide underneath, and I'm cutting straight up like this, all right? And it's a very, very simple pattern to follow. Take nice, fine sections that, you know, nothing too thick that you can't see your guide, and, you know, you don't wanna be taking 50 sections back here. Uh, you want it thin enough that you can see it, but not too thick that you can't, all right? So here we go, working in through the corner area. Again, I'm pulling it straight back, like that, straight back. And it's okay to bring it down just a little bit lower just to make sure everything is still even and well balanced. And here is where we can just sl slightly over direct a little bit, not too much into the corner there, but uh, we do want to maintain a little bit of weight into the corners so that we're not cutting anything that we don't want to cut, meaning we don't want to cut any sort of holes or big gaps or anything like that, okay? What I want to do now is I want to just come in, push that out of the way, and again, do the same thing. Cross check by coming over it on top like this and cutting the opposite way of how you cut it. So now we're cutting downwards and we're cutting diagonally. And that's just, again, going to allow us to see a different angle of the hair which means that usually the mistakes will come right out or if anything needs to be cut, uh, it'll just jump right out because we're cutting at a different angle. It's very, very key with hair cutting is you, the way you cross check it. All right, and this is looking beautiful so far. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go towards the other side and we're gonna go right down the middle. All right, again, but now we're working towards the other direction. So there we go, pull it straight out. 
and cut it straight up. Take a section, push that out of the way, and now we're gonna comb straight out from the head again, following the same pattern, okay? So when we're done with the back here, we'll then be ready to move up towards the top back of the head, and then we'll start connecting the back to the top. I just wanna show you guys briefly where we're at and how amazing this is looking so far. Okay, let me just tilt this down a little bit this way. All right, um, as you can see here, this, ha this looks beautiful, okay? There's not you know, any steps in it, it's got a beautiful flow to it, and all that hard work with the layering uh, is, is definitely paying off. All right, so now it's time to work towards the top back of the head, and this is where we're gonna connect the two areas, all right? So what I'm doing is I'm creating a nice clean section, but I'm allowing myself to now go further up this way. So, but here's the catch, is I'm actually using the same exact uh, technique but this time what I'm doing now is I'm combing it straight out. Now what's gonna happen is this hair that you've cut, that you don't need to cut, is gonna fall out of the hand. See, it fell out, which means it's saying, don't cut me. <laughs> so now I'm following this upwards and rounding this out, following the head shape, combing it straight out like that, okay? Which is gonna prevent you from cutting any sort of harsh lines in the hair and any sort of steps as you're moving upwards. All right, if you were to take this and comb it straight up and cut it horizontally, you're gonna create a nice little harsh line in the head uh, and then you're gonna have to spend you know weeks trying to get rid of it. So if you follow the head shape, if you follow the roundness of the head, you're not gonna create any of these harsh lines. All right, and this is also my favorite way to connect the back into the top, just like that, see? Now again, working in through the corner here, combing it straight out and following the guide. Now, as you see, guys, once you follow a pattern with hair cutting, it all just falls in, you know, the right place and it all just really seamlessly works together. And what I'm going to do now is stop right in through here, combing it straight out from the head. And there we go. Now I'm going to transfer to back to the middle. All right, there's my guide. And now I'm cutting upwards. Again, cutting upwards, following that guide, following that same pattern and keeping a nice uh, consistent flow to it. Now what I'm doing is I'm pushing this way. All right, I'm pushing towards the center with the comb. I'm not pulling towards me, I'm just pushing to keep everything nice and consistent. But also if I pull towards me, I might cut too much hair, all right? And I don't wanna do that. Meaning if I'm taking the comb and combing it towards me, all right, I'm pushing it. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing it away from me, uh, not over directing or not pushing towards the center, but just combing on top of the section. All right, I'm just gonna finish this side in through here, and then we will be done and ready to work in through the top. All right, so now we're going to work in through the top. And the good thing now is that we have a section, a piece right here, which we cut already following the head shape, which we can now use as a guide to work towards the front of the head and the entire top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, cu I'm cutting uh, I'm gonna, gonna be cutting right down the middle, okay, just like this, but I'm creating a panel which is going to keep me uh, centered and keep me going right down the middle, all right? But what I'm gonna do is because we have the guide, I'm going to hold this straight up like this. There's my guide from before, and I'm gonna cut straight across like that, okay? And now it works in seamlessly. There's no lines, there's no sort of anything because I've already cut that section. If I were to hold this straight up here first and cut that first, it would create a harsh line, which I don't want. All right, so now I'm taking a piece from my previous section, combing it straight up like this, and bam, there's the guy. Cut it straight, straight across horizontally, all right? And we're cutting the top to where it's about probably, looks like it's about maybe three inches or so on the top of the head, okay? Next section. We're not over directing, we're literally combing it straight up from the head, okay? We're not over directing, pulling back towards us. We're just following the same pattern to keep everything nice and consistent. Here is our, all right, section that we're done with here. Next section towards the front. Now, as we get to the front, as you can see, this mannequin head already had bangs. So we're not gonna really be cutting much in the very, very front, all right? So here's the very front section right here, and look what's gonna happen. All right, look, there's nothing that needs to come off. You might have a couple of strays hair, stray hairs, but that's about it, all right? Now, since we're on a roll, 
let's 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 work this right in through um, the corners and then in through the, the sides. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to take this corner here and now I'm going to round it out like that. Then I'm going to pull it out and cut this straight down like that, all right? Now you notice the one thing we haven't done is we haven't established our length in through here, all right? We haven't done that yet, okay? So let's, let's do it now because we're gonna start to get into this area and we're starting to work on this side. So look, look at what we have here. We've got this where we left off right in through the corner, right in through here. So this comes basically just, you know, about an inch or so below the ear. And then we've got this where it ends off right into the corner. So we have to basically create a shape uh, and, and an angle that's gonna go from here down in through here, okay? So let's do it. Visually picture this, all right? You can, you can use a comb, you can use uh, whatever you want, your hands, but let's just use the comb here as a, uh, a guide right in through here. But I wanna change, I wanna change uh, the position so you guys can see this a little bit better uh, with the camera angle, okay? So, here we go. I've got that locked in, here's my corner, and here's where I need to be, right, right there. It's locked in, and now I'm going to cut, all right, on an angle just like this working my way downwards, like that. There we go, take it in one shot, if you can, and connect it, and look, there we have it. If there's a couple little stray hairs, you can get rid of them, no problem. And look, we've opened this whole thing up, like this, but we still have to layer it, okay? We still have to layer it, um, which is gonna really help the shape a lot. But look what we've done, okay? We've really worked that in nicely. When we layer this, it's really going to give it that kind of messy, uh, more uh, flowing feel to the whole thing. All right, uh, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side since we're we're on a roll here. I'm just going to comb this down like this. There's the guide where I need to cut from behind the ear, like that. Here we go. Visually, I can see it. I have my comb locked in, and now I'm cutting upwards. All right, drop that down and cut upwards, just like that. And again, if there's a couple little strays, you can just get rid of them. Um, but this is a nice, perfect way to open this whole thing up like this, all right? Don't let this shape fool you because we haven't done any layering in through here. This is all still kind of one length. But now what we're gonna do is we're going to connect this in through the sides and really create a nice layered shape. All right, so what are we gonna do now? We're gonna pick up exactly where we left off, combing it straight out from the head like that. As you can see, everything is pretty much 90 degrees out from the head. And now look, we already have our base now, so we don't have to worry about the sides, the length. We have it already. Bam. Now we can just continue to follow all the way towards the front of the face and the head. And there is our guide. Perfect. Come down like this. There's the weight. There's the length. The length, guys, is on the bottom. This very piece right here, that's the length. You cut it already, okay? You don't have to cut that. If you do cut it, you might get some sort of holes or some sort of uh, disconnection that you might not necessarily want. If it falls out of your hand, like that, let it fall out of your hand. It means it's saying, I don't want to be cut. <laughs> here we go, working towards the front again. This will be probably our final section right in through here. And it is. And as you can see, everything just blended perfectly. All right, it's seamless when you, when you do these kinds of looks and, we, and you follow a nice pattern. All right, now, here's where it really is gonna get uh, really interesting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come in like this. As you can see, I'm coming, coming in on a diagonal, and there might be a little bit of excess length or a little excess weight. That's how you get rid of that, all right? What I wanna do now, remember in the back how we cross-checked? You pulled everything straight out. Well, guess what? We're gonna do that here as well. Pull everything straight out like this horizontally, all right? Pulling out horizontally and cutting. Only if you see pieces that need to come off. Don't chop into anything uh, that doesn't need to be cut. Only, you know, any little pieces, any little excess length, any sort of longer pieces that need to come off, that's how you do that, all right? Now here we go, working up the head shape, and I'm just kind of lifting my hands as I go up, 
uh, following the head shape into the corners and to the top. All right, comb it straight out like this, and there you go. Following the pattern, following the head shape. There are a couple little pieces, not many, and there we go. See what we did? We softened that up, and now into the back here, we've got that little bit of length that we can uh, use, okay? Now let's go right into the top here, and not much to cut at all. All right, now look, look at that beautiful shape it created. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, and then we're gonna start to add some texture to this haircut and really start to shape things up nicely. Look how beautiful this is forming into its shape. I mean, this is, this is gorgeous, okay? Absolutely gorgeous, and I think this really, really is a true uh, example of how you can make something over that you might be intimidated from and not know what to do. You just gotta be aggressive and see it. Now is where the last party, uh, the last call to bar happens, all right? This is when we uh, finish this whole haircut off by going in and adding some texture, and as you can see, I'm using the thinning shears like this, and this really works good on medium textured hair. I wouldn't do it too much on fine hair, uh, maybe a little bit, but not too, too much because you might thin it out too much. But the key is that I'm leaving the thickness into the base because you don't want to thin, if you have thin hair, you don't want to thin it out here, all right? Because that's where it looks thin anyway. You want to go towards like the mid shaft to the ends like this, which is simply just creating texture, all right? Um, and I'm going throughout the whole head, lifting it up and really working in this nice texture with the thinning shears, all right? Um, if you have curly hair, I wouldn't necessarily do this. If your hair is really frizzy or dry, I wouldn't really necessarily do this either. You might go in with a scissor and point cut into it. Um, in the front here, you can twist this a little bit. The front is okay to add a little more texture to it because it's okay if this is a little more wispy uh, into the front. Uh, but this pretty much is the finished haircut. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow dry this, all right? Uh, and then you'll see how easy this is to blow dry. And uh, you probably don't even have to use any sort of brush, just use your hands. Well, as you can see, this looks really, really amazing. Uh, it's got great shape to it and a uh, very modern kind of really cool, uh, sexy style. So I'm gonna use a little bit of paste here. This is tea tree shaping cream, all right? And I'm gonna work it through my hands like this. And this is where you can really have fun with this whole thing. You can leave it like this if you want. You don't have to put product because the more you put into the haircut, the more it's going to not need as much styling, which we did here. We put so much into this haircut that literally you can do anything you want to it and it's still gonna look good. So I'm just gonna kind of spice this up a little bit, put some paste into it. Uh, and as you can see, I'm working towards the back here first. And, and look, take a look here at, at what that's doing. Okay, look at that. Look at all the layers and how beautiful that comes in. All right, and now it's really just picking up uh, the haircut. All right, we're just really going in there, messing it up a little bit, using our, our hands to just kind of separate everything to just really uh, work the product through and to uh, really, really shape this whole uh, haircut out. All right, let's turn this back around this way. All right, let's get in front of here. Let's just really mess this up and shape this whole thing up like this. And uh, there we go, as you can see here. All right, looking very, very nice. Work the product in on this side. Use the palm of your hand to just really accentuate all of, uh, all of the haircut and everything that you just spent all this time on. All right, and as you can see, this really, really is coming in nicely and it's got a lot of beautiful shape to it, all right? Um, so, I think this concludes it. And I think we did a great job of making uh, this beautiful, this is Emma from Hair Products. You can get this at hairproducts.com. This is like the cream of the crop mannequin. 100% uh, human hair, virgin European hair. Um, you can reach out to them, tell them the salon guy sent you, uh, but this is definitely cream of the crop, all right? For, great for practicing and, and getting these great looks down because it's human hair, okay? So I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this. All right guys, well thank you again so much for watching. Just a final recap, a final look. Uh, you can see the back here, it looks gorgeous. All right, uh, this is probably about, I'd say three inches or so the most on top of the head. Uh, this is about, I'd say an inch and a half to two inches at the back here. Uh, you know, anywhere from two inches to maybe three, right in through the top here, a little bit longer in through the top. Uh, and then it works in through the sides, as you can see here. You can use paste to style this, you can use nothing, I'd rather use probably nothing or paste to style this, all right, because the haircut really does all the work. And as you can see from the, the thinning shears and texturizing, gives it a really, really good shape. So uh, I'll be honest with you guys, as you can see, there's a lot of time that goes, this is a longer video, which means longer editing, longer work that goes into this, and I can't do this all the time. But 
I did this for you guys and I really hope you get a lot out of this. I put everything I possibly could into this haircut. If you do like this video, if you think Steven is the best haircut you've ever done, then please let me know. Uh, I really appreciate the comments. Definitely like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. My numbers are going up thanks to you guys. But I gotta get, you know, I want to get more subscribers and and I have a lot of great things coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for more tutorials with the salon guy.